Friday. Started working on Drama Queen because it was raining off and on all afternoon and kind of thundering. Picked up some stuff, but um, yeah, one day behind, that's okay. Yeah, you can see the stupid water left over. But real fast, like before I actually start working on this, I am seeing some similarities between some firewalls here. Yeah. Seeing a lot of similarities because right there's a tack plate. This right here, a tack plate to take that out for AC. It's almost in the same damn spot. Let's walk over real fast. Yeah, that's very interesting. I just now noticed that. In November, you know, these two are going to come off their frame, or at least try to work on the Galaxy. The 64, excuse me, because we have quite a few of them now. Let's try this one here. Wow. The only thing that's really different is the longer T. What? When I uh, get this front clip off, I'll have to see if the Ford actually used the same firewall. Hmm. Yeah, because it's the same kind of engine mounts. Or, excuse me, not engine mounts. Uh, I was looking at the engine bay. That's, my mindset's like that. But uh, I was looking at the cab mounts. What the hell? Yeah, yeah, you know, same thing here. Okay, so let's go back one more time. I just discovered this. This is one hell of a discovery. Almost damn near identical. Damn near identical. But yeah, almost same cab mounts. Oh my god. Gonna have to do some comparisons when uh, yank this engine out. Take pictures and post them up on this video. Well, if you got a Starliner. Looks like firewalls might actually cross over. Same spot for an AC uh, port. Same round thing, same spot. And damn. And this 61. I'll have to look at the parts car. Hold on here. That's. That's really identical, isn't it? Of course, you know, 61, but the only difference is the middle section right there for that cross steel that goes right here. Huh. And of course, the illumination plate, you can see the factory tack welds right there, all around it. Those little circle indentations right there. Yeah. Well, actually, those might be to something else I see. Never mind. But yeah, there's tack welds holding that on. That's, that's where you actually put your factory AC at. I know 65 and 66 are way different. Well, that's something. Well, learn something every day. Well, I better get back to Drama Queen because uh, she can't pull her engine herself.
So things were loosened up in the front. I mean, it's no big deal, but this is kind of a big deal. Uh, remember when I blew this out, you know, cleaned it and everything, took off stuff, put Mr. Oil in it last year. It was like around August or September, maybe October. But when I took this off, I kind of wiped it. This is your uh, old ancient time uh, fuel pump, by the way. You know, looking at it, kind of wiped on a little bit, but that's a lot of hard gunk. That does not, this had a smell of vision, does not smell like gas or anything. That smells like burnt oil. Yeah. Let me show. Oh, I forgot my tool right there on the ground. Let's see here. Yeah. There's a lot of gunk in there. Looks heavily burnt. Stuck my finger in there. Smells like burnt oil. I, uh, yeah, I don't know what to really expect when we tear apart this engine. I hope that it's a good engine because, you know, this is a heavy-duty block, you know, from all the older cars back in the day. But, uh, yeah, but again, you know, this is, this is your fuel pump, you know, sits on like so. And it's... Smells like burnt oil. It's not supposed to smell like burnt oil. I'm thinking when I get underneath um, and loosen up the transmission and everything else, that way, you know, it could be yanked out tomorrow. Thinking about finishing on yanking the rest of the stuff off of here in the front, maybe. Not quite sure yet, but maybe water pump. And uh, I'll leave the time and uh, housing on. But I'll probably take the water pump off and see what's going on there. Because there was some antifreeze in it, but I want to see if there's anything else that's kind of corroded up into it. Because, uh, oh, I just don't know what to expect in honesty. But I want to take it off and see if anything falls out. So, I'm going to put this down and just kind of get back to doing stuff in Drama Queen here. Yeah. So I guess there might have been a reason as to why they pushed this poor car into the, that dirt pit, but took its toll on it pretty badly and here comes the rain but it ain't gonna bother me anything and i got no electronics out here and this is waterproof so well time to crawl underneath i suppose and then yank off that water pump and see what's going on i suppose it's not looking very hot it's not looking very hot at all that's uh yeah I know antifreeze can make it rust and everything, and some engines are pretty decent, even when they do that deep clean stuff, but, yeah, I think this, well, it's still by Fomico. Part number and all still on it. Uh, yeah, I kind of get you guys up in here. That reservoir that was up right here, that's no good. Hey, look at that. That's also filled with rust, too. Everything's filled with rust. Yeah. That's pretty nasty looking. I don't know if anybody even want to tackle this block, but... Uh, could just be, you know, the intake, too. Because, you know, once you take off the rest of the block, you know, and do everything else, you know, it could be decent. But again, it, uh, hmm. I also was looking underneath. Looks like there's some spots on the frame that needs to be fixed. I got to figure out how to, uh, well, I got to figure out how to get a lot of the dirt and grime out of it. But also one spot, too, I felt a piece of frame kind of just sitting in there. So I don't know if it's going to need a new frame yet or what. I mean, Galaxy frames are out there, not a big deal. But these Starliners, they really aren't. It'd be extremely worthwhile to get another frame if this one's actually not good. So, yeah, it's uh, <laughs> burnt oil in here and rust particles and everything in there. And it looks like there's a bunch of rust in here, too. 
Well, what's ever left of the goop? It smells like burnt oil too. Yeah, even that leftover uh, gunk that's in there smells like burnt oil. Man. What if this thing got hot, overheated, didn't check the oil or something and... I don't know. It's one thing's for sure. Once we get this on the ground, wouldn't be afraid to flip it over and take that off. But when it's up in the air, I kind of want to take off that oil pan first and drop it to see if anything's even, you know, whatever's in there. Uh, yeah. She pretty bad. She pretty bad. It's the worst I've ever seen something like that. Well, it did move. We were going to move it, but it's starting to thunder out. We had a super long day. You can see it's starting to cloud over pretty, pretty damn bad. And it rained all this morning, cleared up, and then now not because, uh, you know, we got to, we actually got to yank this over with the pickup because that back right side's actually locked up. Because if you remember how I yeah, took off that side, we couldn't budge it. No, it, it's grabbing. He was grabbing before, but it's worse even now. Pick it yeah, because we're gonna get that up over. Ooh, that thunder's coming in pretty fast. But we're gonna put up the, you know, the A-frame right here, go through it, and then you know, take the pickup around, come back, and you know, yank it back over. I still gotta get those other engines yanked up and moved. But I could do that with the pickup, move them on movable pallets. But yeah, gotta. We're gonna, you know, position that over so that way we can just yank it over and, and pull it out. Um, she might need a new frame because when I poked my finger in one hole on the frame, there's a chunk of frame that kind of fell off inside. And a lot of the frame itself doesn't look quite healthy. It looks okay, but it's kind of swelled from moisture over the years. Yeah, we won't know for sure until we get that body off. But... Yeah. We'll inspect it more together and everything and because he'll know more about it see if the frames even savable but we're prepared to get another one uh, a frame off of a two-door uh, sedan and a hardtop will work on this yeah so yeah, same thing. yeah just same thing uh, of course four doors are different so. yeah but gosh sorry for this video not you know not pulling in the engine but tomorrow on our day off at least yeah at least our day off i'll uh, you know we'll prep this after a few other things and we'll yank this next weekend when we have time and it'll be a bonus video sometime next week maybe on a monday or tuesday so some videos will be kind of back to back so apologies that we couldn't uh get to this now about another galaxy the parts cars, the 66 parts car, we just discovered that they have everything for it. And they got stuff that can actually fix his car. We're actually thinking about not turning it into a parts car anymore. Um, they even have firewalls out there that could even fix mine. So... Yeah, and they have, yeah, they have stuff for it, too. Because, as you all know, I was beginning to strip it last year. So, I'm going to get to it this year. And then, stuff just kind of, kind of happened. So, uh, yeah, we can walk over and view that. Won't hurt to kind of do, like, a small little walk. So, it's kind of come to a standstill. Because it'll bring a third galaxy. I'll have one. Tucker will have one. But this one, I guess, will be between both of us. But we don't know what to exactly do with it. Because, like I said, there's parts, everything available now. And if how we have stuff can actually fix his roof. And they have panels. And how we can create panels. Of how certain things have come to light this year. Well... And it's a it's a low tier car. It's not worth much. It was uh was this a 352 or no it was a 390. Oh, geez, I don't remember. 
I can't remember. Well, the seal right there. Hold on here. I think they originally had a 390 in it, but I don't know. Um, Z. I think it's been a while. I think Z was 390. Ooh, my skills are getting bad. When you start looking at VIN numbers and everything else, it's hard to keep track unless you don't write it down and looking at your notes. Yeah. So, we discovered that a lot of places online, even places in Germany, can make fenders all right here. Can make some, we can actually make roof skins on our own. Um, we could, they have everything for this car. And uh, there's stuff out there too for fenders, front clips and everything, you know, for mine. Because, uh, well, this one has the longer wheelbase. Mine has the shorter wheelbase, right? Mine has the shorter wheelbase? Yes. Yeah, and this one has the longer wheelbase. This frame won't fit. It Yours won't fit. Yours is 117. I think this one here was, what, 118? Something like that. Okay. I got it. I got it. Yeah, mine's, for. I don't know why mine's shorter wheelbase. Uh, I got to do some more research and everything because it supposedly comes back as a Galaxy 500, but I don't want to say anything else until further notice, like I first originally did. Yeah, that's why we thought it was originally a 7 liter. Yes. Just because it had that 7 liter trim. Mm hmm. Because I think that one guy wasn't full of it either, but I have to do more research because stuff comes to. back. Because you got to remember, yeah. too, for to do, say, one thing on their car and ends up being something totally different. Yep, exactly. So, being cautious on that one. Don't want to do another boo-boo. So, this car, guess what? It's being saved. No longer a parts car. I know some people are going to be rejoiceful, but, uh, you know, it's okay. I can still get trunk decks, you know, everything else for mine. So. <laughs> oh, that's all in all. I mean, 66 had a pretty good look to them. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, this thing was about to get chopped up, but after things came to light, some people told me so-and-so, so we now have a third 1966 Ford Galaxy two-door hardtop, but we don't know what to exactly put into it yet, because this had factory AC and a few other things for it, too. Did we save that? Or... I'll save, oh, the factory AC? No, it's, it's taken out a long time ago. Yeah, that was that's long gone. Yeah. So yeah, this is a kind of dilemma. I do have the original chrome strip. In the I know. I know that you. Fit on my '66. Yeah. I take mine out with '65. Then yeah. There's another Galaxy. I took that that dash chrome off, and it wouldn't work either. And that's '65 actually matched up with it. Mm-hmm. So all in all, transmission will still be saved back for something. Uh, I don't, we, we just don't know what to turn this car into. Because these galaxies have a whole bunch of potential with the big block and everything. So, so yeah, um, didn't destroy nothing on the car except for the windshield. You can get those windshields. Yeah, they're common. Yeah, they're very common, surprisingly. So, yeah, we have another 66 Galaxy and she's not going to be a parts car anymore because everything just popped up for it and like i said some stuff from germany uh galaxy club some actually quite a few people from a galaxy club here in the state told me about it and yeah so and it has a setup you know just like any other galaxy down right here for a four speed with all that extra stuff and this was a power steering car so it's she's got potential for for something I mean, we could always modernize it. Hey, 7.3, you know, Godzilla engine, but, you know, those kind of, who knows? <laughs> uh, <I hate> <laughs> Is that you? No, my phone's over there. That's your phone bu buzzing. So, yeah, a lot of people are going to rejoice. This is no longer a parts car. It's now going to be saved. I've got to, well, it's going to stay here. i got to move these two out of the way so i can get these other two yank four so i can start building that privacy fence that's i know i've been talking about that for a while but yeah so how about that we now have a third 66 galaxy we might as well save it yeah since stuff's available for it and when we start doing the galaxies we'll document everything 
that's there. So anything else you want to add, my dear brother, since we now have a third 66 galaxy? Uh, what does that give us now? Let's see here. Uh, yeah, how many galaxies? Six. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six galaxies. Yeah. So what is that? A 61, a 64, three 66s, and a 68. Yeah, 68. Yep. Ah, amazing how stuff turns out. And we were going to start chopping this too. Yeah. We were getting ready to chop this too in November. But. Yeah, I measure all that back in, get it cut off for his mm. other 66. Mm hmm. For, we're going to get ready for Heather. But, uh, but yep. Another 66 Galaxy. So, already. Well, that was so good. Oh, yeah, just, uh, just tweak a little bit. Yeah. I got to make us a, a bullseye once we get that MIG welder going, some heat and everything. So, alrighty, take consideration of please subscribing to us. We're not asking for no money in any way, shape, or form. Store will be out sometime when we get things organized next year in 2023 between April to May. Hopefully, nothing happens on other parts of the world that may affect it so all in all we'll catch y'all later so y'all have a good night take care and stay safe see you later and thanks again for the support